This trading strategy is super easy and it's the one I use to take the short trade that you see right here. As you can see, I'm about to get stopped out at my entry after hitting a very juicy take profit one. But this is the kind of trade setup you can look for multiple times a day. It's called a chickens drinking water trade setup. And there's a few different ways to trade this. We're going to talk about the way I like to trade this. So what is a chickens drinking water? A chickens drinking water, also known as a swing failure pattern, is when the price makes a high or a low, but in this case, it's a high. Let's go ahead and turn off our positions here so we can see the chart more clearly. Price makes a high, right? Typically when we're trading some kind of a sideways range, and then price goes for a stop hunt, right? It basically stops out everybody who shorted early just to then reverse the price. You're basically looking to trade a stop hunt. And the reason why it's called a chicken's drinking water is because if you've ever seen a chicken drink water, which I see every day because I'm a homesteader, I grow my own food, I raise my own animals, I love watching chickens drink water, they will take their beak, they will stick it into the water, and then real quick, they rip their beak out and they go, and they lap it up. In fact, one of my favorite things to do is actually watch chickens drink water on YouTube. So I can go to chickens drinking water, and I watch this video multiple, multiple times a day. All right, check out how the chicken actually drinks water. All right, she takes her beak, she shoves it into the water, boom, right? Then she pulls it out, right? Basically, what we're looking for here is this first high is the water. The prize candles are the chicken's beak. And when we see the chicken stick her beak in the water and then pull it out, that is when we enter into that position. Now, we only do this if there are certain confirmations on the chart that tell us to get into that trade. So what are some of these confirmations? Well, let's take a look at the chart and let's take a look at what happened as we got this chickens drinking water, all right? So first of all, we need to establish key areas of support and resistance on the chart, right? We don't wanna look for chickens drinking water just anywhere. It helps if we have a key area of support and resistance. And it just so happens that if we take our FIB from the high to the low, you can see that price came to the Fibonacci 786 level right here. And we got a rejection from the 786. So a lot of people shorted that and rightfully so. In fact, I also shorted that, hit a TP1 and then got stopped out of my entry. But then what happened? We got a stop hunt, okay? We came back up above. Now, when you establish a high or a low, right? What you want to do is mark that level. Whenever price makes a new high or a new low, you wanna mark that out and tell yourself, this could get stop hunted. And then what you want to do is you want to look at two indicators. As the price comes back to take that high, I like to use market cipher B. And what I like to look for is I like to see the momentum waves and the money flow getting lower as the price actually takes that high. All right, now if you don't use market cipher because it is a premium indicator, you can use something called the awesome oscillator. All right, and basically with the awesome oscillator, you want to see a bearish divergence. What's a bearish divergence? It's where the oscillator is making a lower high as the price is making a higher high. Now that is what you want to look for. You want to see that. It depends on what time frame you're trading. If you're using a bigger time frame to, to put in this high, like let's say this is a high that is made on a daily candle. You would want to see this on the daily chart, right? If the high is made on a lower time frame candle, you use the lower time frames. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're seeing this across multiple time frames. The six minute money flow momentum getting lower. The three minute, what do we see as we make that high? Money flow and momentum getting lower. The one minute, what do we see as we make that high? The momentum waves and the money flow getting lower as we make that high. If you see this at a key level, this is a valid chickens drinking water trade setup. You are going to enter the trade once you see a candle close below that previous high. Okay, so basically what we have here is as soon as we close a one minute candle below that green line, this is where I would enter the trade and what you do is you put your stop loss above that wick. This is your stop loss, very low risk trade, right? And then your first take profit is going to be the low, the first low that price made before it made that higher high. All right, that would be a TP1 to lock in the trade and then move the stop loss to your entry. 
All right. Once you, I, I usually take out half the trade. All right. Once you move the stop loss to your entry, you can either close the whole trade whenever you want, or you can let it ride to see what happens because technically we could come down a bit lower. That's why I've actually kept this trade open here. As you can see, and we are dumping right now. And the reason why is because we came up to, once again, the Fibonacci golden pocket, right? So I like to keep a portion of the trade open, but this is how you're going to do it. Now, the other indicator that I use is called open interest. All right, open interest is basically showing our new trades opening or our trades closing out, right? Sometimes price is moved by new traders actually opening up new positions. And sometimes price is moved by a short squeeze, okay? There's a free tool out there called Coinalize.net. Coinalize.net, a totally free tool. You could check it out. And what you're gonna do is put on an indicator called open interest, all right? Open interest. This is not TradingView. This is Coinalize.net, all right? It's a website. And as you are taking out the high, right? Let's zoom in on our five minute time frame. This was the high right here, okay? As you're taking it out, what you also want to see, along with the divergences, is you want to see the open interest getting a drastic decrease. See these purple candles? This is the open interest getting a big decrease. Why do we want to see that? Well, we need to ask ourselves a question. When we're seeing price pumping like crazy and people getting very bullish, the only way this move can sustain itself is if there's actually money coming into the market, if there's actually people willing to buy Bitcoin at these high prices. If you see massive amounts of trades closing out here, that means shorts are getting wrecked and longs are taking profit and there's no new money to continue that move to the upside. And so if you see a big decrease of open interest, as you're also seeing market cipher B printing lower momentum and money flow, that is a very high probability that the trade will go in your favor. And as you can see, the trade did go in our favor. Now, what's very important about this trading strategy, especially if you're using this to scalp, is that you take profits and move your stop loss to the entry, okay? I posted this and we were looking at this first CDW this morning. CDW stands for drinking, drinking water in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, New York Open Live Stream, where we give the juicy trade setups like the long that we gave literally from the exact bottom. We were looking at the CDW happening and we have to take profit when price comes down to that first low, all right? We made a low right here. So we have to say, when price comes down here, we take profit, right? We made a low right here. So we have to say, if price comes down here, we take profit. I took four short trades today. Two of them, the first two were wins. The second one was a loss because we never came down to the low. Obviously the third one is a win. If you don't take profits and move your stop loss to the entry, you will get wrecked. If you take profits, stop loss to entry, even though I took a loss and even though these are small moves, I'm still up on my whole account 4% on the day. Why? Because you have to stick to your dang rules of, first of all, using the right position size, using good risk management. All right, that goes beyond the scope of this video. But secondly, stay true to taking profit when you're in profit, moving your stop loss to the entry, understanding that either you're going to get stopped out making a small profit or the trade is going to keep running like the one I'm in right now, and you lock in a profit, and then worst case scenario, you make a profit, best case scenario, it keeps running with a smaller position open, right? You must do this. By the way, if you wanna join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com, click the link to join the Discord. Guys, we have multiple instructors in here giving their trade setups, giving their levels, telling you their thought process on stocks, Forex, crypto, a great educational community. If you wanna get educated, check out the courses here, White Phoenix, one of our instructors, just released literally the most comprehensive course I've ever seen on trading. It works for all markets. If you want to trade crypto, Bitcoin, and altcoins, I highly recommend you check out MEXC. Best deal on fees, you could literally scalp the way I'm showing you with market orders only and still be profitable because the fees are so low. Links in the comment, pinned comment, and description if you are interested. All right, guys. That is it for today's video. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, even if you are not religious. I still pray you and your family are super blessed. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace!